You know, it's not every day I like to call out best-selling authors, but Roger Stone, you were conned. You know, it lists you on Twitter as being a New York Times best-selling author, but I find that hard to believe if you don't even do your own research. How in the world did you bring Nick Knight, a.k.a. Stephen W. Blood Jr., onto your radio show promote him as the real Bikers for Trump and then actually advertised his website of the scam. Now, when I say scam, I only say that because he is not a biker. He does not represent the Bikers for Trump. As far as I know, he doesn't even ride a bike. Yet he sits on Twitter and advertises himself as the founder of Bikers for Trump. That these bikers, thousands of them all across the country, follow him for guidance. Now, had you done your research, you would find out that Chris Cox is the true founder of the Bikers for Trump. He's involved in the everyday movement of that organization, and you'll see him at every event rally across the country. Are we got any Bikers for Trump out here? That's right. Hey, my name's Chris Cox. I started Bikers for Trump last August, and we had 50 big bikers show up. Sources and humanitarian resources here at this church. Um, bikers for Trump firmly believe that all lives matter. So that Sturges, where we had about 35,000 guys out there to uh, hear our message, and it was pretty moving. There's three things about Bikers for Trump. The three main talking points of Bikers for Trump. First, not many days ago, I was on with Nick from the Bikers for Trump. We had a great little turn on his uh, podcast. Uh, and now I'm privileged to have him here join us here in the Stone Zone. Uh, the Bikers for Trump is a, is a phenomena. Uh, these guys are great. They have provided security for the Trump rallies. Uh, these are red-blooded American patriots on their hogs, and I am privileged to have Nick join us now in the Stone Zone. Nick, welcome. How the hell are you? Welcome, uh, Nick Knight here. And, uh, I'm out at the wall site right now, you know. We're building that wall that uh, we sent you a brick about. And, uh... So tell us about the bikers for Trump, because Nick Knight, you have been in the forefront I'm going to tell you what's going on with the bikers here. Yep. What, we're, what we're doing right now is we're building this memorial wall, which which people can get a brick or buy two bricks, and they get, one, if you order two bricks, one goes on the wall and one we sent to you like we sent to you. That The, the people ask, where's the money going from it? I'll tell you where the money's going for it. Construction's not free. We use real American labor. These bricks are made in America. They're made in Estero, Florida, by the way, and uh, they are laser engraved. So our next thing is, any money that's left over out of that, we are going to use to man the polls on November 8th because we want to make sure that there's no funny business going on, people double voting, things like that. We're going to try to get as many people in all 50 states out to the polls. We have been recruiting people to uh, register the vote, making sure that they know you vote once, this is not American Idol, you vote once, that's it. We want to make sure that people that are trying to vote twice get convicted, tell them to the Who Scout, hey, send them to Gitmo, let's keep that open. That's a great place for them. Uh, but we are trying to make this an even playing field. We will be present at polls nationwide, come hell or high water. Donald J. Trump will be sworn in on January 20th, 2017. All right, that was Nick Knight. Thanks for joining us, Nick, a real patriot, one of the leaders of Bikers for Trump. I am honored that you hey. sent me a brick. I cannot. Hey, tell Roger. You. Yes, sir. Roger. Make sure everybody goes and orders a brick today at borderwallbricks.com. You heard it there, folks. Borderwallbricks.com. Get, get your brick, your brick with, on your name today and uh, support the Bikers for Trump. Many thanks, Nick. So, Mr. Blood. As far as I know, started out his scamming career many years ago. I can find it as far back as 2008, 2009, I believe it was, in Big Bear, California. He was a radio DJ, came up with a idea about fundraising or, or earthquake 
earthquake something or nothing. He, he ended up scamming a bunch of people and he left overnight. And unfortunately, no charges were ever brought because he wasn't there. In 2011, he orchestrated a scam involving tornado victims in Georgia, Alabama, Mississippi, Tennessee, even Missouri. The Huntsville, Alabama Speedway donated their property and their land to Mr. Blood, then known as Woody Nelson. That's the alias that he was using. This was for a tornado benefit concert that was going to benefit tornado victims. And Mr. Blood claimed that Gretchen Wilson and Willie Nelson were going to appear. The only problem being is these musicians had no idea that they were supposed to be playing this benefit concert because they were playing somewhere else in the country that very day. So when it was discovered that this tornado benefit concert was actually just a big scam, everybody pulled out, Huntsville, Alabama Speedway pulled out, and Mr. Blood himself pulled out. At the time, everybody thought, wow, this guy just got away with something huge, but Missouri turned around and sued him for over $20,000 for his part in scamming tornado victims. Mr. Blood never showed up for court and and he owes over, I believe, $25,000 in that case. Everybody was amazed when he actually opened a restaurant in Thomasville, Georgia and called it the Mermaid Cafe. A lot of us thought, wow, he's finally going to do something productive with his life. He's finally going to live an honest life and make an honest buck. Nope. In the course of doing so, he used Starbucks trademark. Um, the very first picture he posted on Facebook showing his dollar that he made, his very first dollar was wearing a Starbucks logo apron. So obviously Starbucks went after him and in 2015 Starbucks filed a trademark a lawsuit against him for well over $100,000. And this is right about the time he started Bikers for Trump. Just so happens that uh, Bikers for Trump 2016 have a trademark on that name. And he's probably going to be sued for trademark infringement. This guy just scams and scams and scams. And people need to take notice. They need to see what's going on. They need to understand that this is a con man who's been doing this for many, many years, and he's not going to stop now. Bikers don't sell bricks. I don't know where in the hell he came up with this idea to put your name on a brick, and he's going to put it on a wall. When he first started it, we called him out on it, and suddenly you're getting two bricks. So I just did a simple search on Google, Bikers for Trump. So where is Nick Knight? According to Roger Stone, he's a high leader amongst the bikers for Trump. Except I don't see him. I do see the real insignia for the bikers for Trump, 2016.com. I see Chris Cox, the founder for bikers for Trump. I see a lot of bikers. Chris Cox, Chris Cox. And then I see this crap. Bikers, the number four, Trump. So Nick Knight is selling bricks for the Trump wall that they're building somewhere near Atlanta, but they're not going to give you the true place of where it's going to be. I honestly don't believe there will be a wall. I think it's just another part of his delusion, his scams, his way to con America. And now he's chosen bikers and Trump supporters to take money from. Let's do a little comparison. This is the real Bikers for Trump on Facebook. When you scroll down, you can see that uh, they're pretty legit on what they want to post. Click here to support Bikers for Trump by Chris Cox. They talk about their traction in Cleveland. More support for Bikers for Trump. News article about them. That is Chris Cox right there on the left. That's Chris Cox. He is the founder of Bikers for Trump. Not this scam that's been going on that nobody seems to even know about. Let's go check out the fake Bikers for Trump, shall we? So here is the scamming page, Bikers, the number four, Trump. 
as you can see the very first thing they talk about are uh, their bricks that they're selling because you know for the Trump wall that apparently is being built somewhere who knows though and as you scroll on down you'll see bikers for Trump shared breaking for Trump's video which is his page as well and as a matter of fact that's sharing their his own video sharing another video from breaking for Trump breaking for Trump breaking for Trump does this really look like a biker page to you buy bricks buy bricks buy bricks buy bricks and what do you know stone cold truth sir you have been scammed whether you know it or not I don't know but this video is intending to show you exactly that are you actually being scammed with this brick not really you're actually getting a product which is more than he's ever offered before you actually can see it in your hand that it's a brick laser engraved probably paid 10 15 dollars to have it done but charged you 49 that's worth it, eh? What if he never builds a wall? What then? The reason I say you've been scammed? Because he's not with the bikers for Trump. He's not a biker. He doesn't go to these rallies. He's not out there defending your freedoms. He's not doing anything but taking your cash, your money, and selling you bricks.